an in and out philosophy, not a cheesecake factory philosophy. In and out, the reason In and Out is super, super successful is because when I go to In and Out, I know exactly what to expect. I know exactly what the quality is. And the menu has three items burger, fries, shake, period. So good to see you, Gary F. Professor, can you give me some tips on how to build subscribers on a health and fitness app? Who is your target audience? Find out everything you can about them and not just their demographic, their age, income, ethnicity. You need to get into the psychology of who these people are. Why should they subscribe to your health and fitness app? What differentiates your app from the competition? If you want to get serious about this, Gary, you and by the way, this might answer a question for a ton of you guys. Everything is about audience. I'm not able to build income streams. I'm not able to be a full-time content creator if I don't adhere and serve my audience. You have to have a service mindset. Nobody cares about your idea. You're not special. I hate to tell you this, but I'm not the coconuts and yachts guy. Not even close. This is anchored in reality. This is real. I have to give you the truth. Nobody cares about Professor Nez. Why would they care about Professor Nez? Until I'm able to show them that it's in their best interest to care. So you need to dive deep into the chest of who your audience is. What are their frustrations? What are their challenges? What are their problems? What is it that your app what problem with their health and fitness what is the main problem with their health and fitness that your app can solve and then create content around okay those questions that they have those challenges those pain points those problems so for example how to lose belly fat do an entire live stream do an entire i mean i'll watch that you know i got a covid belly that i'm still trying to lose I'm using the excuse that COVID's still going on. Dive deep into the chest and create content around those questions and challenges and do that ad infinitum, ad ad nauseum, and try to get better and better at the creative and don't make it about you. Make it all about them. And I promise you, you'll get people to sign up. You will. How can I get more audience on my channel? I think I kind of answered the same. It's the same thing that I answered. What is it that you provide that somebody needs? Don't think I just want to start. I want to be a YouTuber. Okay, don't don't think like that. The key is is to understand what is it that you have that people want. If it's entertainment, what kind of entertainment do you do? Do you do um, a, a variety show? Do you do sketches? Do you do reactions? Do you do funny pranks? Do you do challenges? Whatever it is, figure out who are the top people in that niche. Go look at their channel, whether it's YouTube, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Facebook, whether it's TikTok, go look at their channel, look at their top 10 performing videos, try to dissect it. You need to do market research, try to dissect. This goes for you too, Gary, and anybody else who has this question. It's a fantastic question. Try to dissect exactly what it is about their topic. I did an entire show dissecting YouTube channels and I did channel reviews live on the air. Um, I would highly suggest you check that out because I really go through the methodology that I use with clients when clients hire me to look at their channel and give them help. Right. And so when I do channel consults, um, look at the top performing channels in your niche and get really specific if you can, because it can't just be entertainment. There's all these buckets, as Daryl Eves talks about. There's all these specificities within that specific niche. And then try to get as narrow as you can. It's not that you're pigeonholing yourself. It's not that you're, you know, uh, putting yourself in a corner. But the more specific, here's the ironic thing. The more specific you are, here's the paradox. The more you can help other people and the more other people will be helped by your content. But by being specific, it gives it a focus, thereby giving your audience Ah, remember I talked about this on the stream. You need to have an in and out, an in and out philosophy, not a cheesecake factory philosophy. 
in and out the reason in and out is super super successful is because when i go to in and out i know exactly what to expect i know exactly what the quality is and the menu has three items burger fries shake period there's no uh, filet mignon there's no pasta alfredo there's no you know potato wedges there's three items on the menu simplify make it concise make it direct know your audience and you will win it's also not about um subscribers now am i gonna get a silver play button you damn skippy am i gonna get a gold play button you're damn skippy because i'm never gonna stop and i've got all the other channels that are almost passing this one um it's not about that the only metric that matters is impact impact is the only metric that matters